Hey everybody, what's going on? You got Michael here and Chris with MK Experience where we share all of our experiences with you guys and boy do we have a great one in store for you today. We are going to do a campground review of this amazing resort called Hilton Head National RV Resort. Let's go! Thank you so much for tuning into the channel today. We really do appreciate it. And we wanna thank all of those new subscribers who have joined our channel over the last six months. It has been a while since we've done a video and there's some stories to tell about. <laughs> yeah, so stay tuned because yeah, we've definitely been sidelined for a little while and we've got a story for you. Yeah, so let's go ahead and let's start doing this. I'll tell you what, this resort that we are at today it's like a hidden gem right now, but it's not going to be for too much longer. It's already starting to catch fire. And the funny thing about it is Chris and I looked, what, last year? Well, about a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. We wanted to come down to the Hilton Head area. And when we went to look for RV resorts or campgrounds down here, we couldn't find any except for one that was for Class A's only over on the island. So we were like, well, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, so. We ended up doing something else completely different and we went again to look here recently and lo and behold hilton head national rv resort popped up here in bluffton south carolina and i'll tell you what guys this this is probably now our new number one favorite resort yes it is absolutely a five star resort yeah it's glamping <laughs> to its, its finest, finest. Yes. <laughs> which is probably why we like it i don't know so many of you are like you guys aren't campers you're glampers well, yes and i don't even <laughs> think it's i think there are other campgrounds in the area but it just you know it's like if we're gonna go out we want to go to a specific type of campground and there just wasn't anything here in the area until we came across this particular campground yeah so let's start at the beginning we'll say we'll call this the beginning so when you go to come to this amazing resort and you go to put uh, the directions in your GPS, you're going to find you're going to have all kinds of issues. Uh, <laughs> if you have the Garmin like we do, if you use your phone, it does a pretty decent job of, of getting you here. But with our Garmin, it, it, the directions were really wonky. And uh, when we were talking with these guys well, here... I, would, I wouldn't say that it was wonky. It just didn't bring us... It, it took us down roads that we needed to go with an RV of our size. It just didn't bring us to the entrance of the campground that yes. we needed to come to with our RV. So it can be really confusing. So I called here and I actually talked to them and read the bottom of their email and it does give you instructions after you book your, your site. It, it does, they have it on there, which is uh, super nice, but sometimes you overlook that part and you just want to put the address in your GPS and psh, and go. So here's the deal. When you come into town, what I did is they tell you here to take a right on Burnt Church Road, which is correct. And the reason why they don't want you to go down to a Malfurus Road is because there are a lot of low hanging trees. And if you make the mistake and you go down that road, Chris and I have been down that road, there are a lot of low hanging trees. You're going to probably have a lot of scrapes. I don't know, but that if you've already committed, you're already into it, but. <laughs> and we happen to see, we actually have seen a lot of RVers turn down that road who probably yes. did exactly what they shouldn't have done, which was, you know, just plug in the address to the resort. And the other mistake that people make, it, when they turn down that road, your GPS is probably going to tell you to keep going straight past or through Bluffton Parkway into their side entrance, which is not their opening entrance. It's really going to mess you up if you come in their side entrance. You need to come in their front entrance. So let's get you going straight. So what I did is I put a business, there's a Truist Bank on the corner uh, on Burnt Church Road. So I put that in my GPS. So when we left, it was taking me to Burnt Church Road, which is exactly right. You hang a right on Burnt Church Road, you get into the left-hand lane, and then you're going to take a left on Bluffton Parkway. And you're going to keep going straight, and you're going to see Mulfus Road. Do not take a right. Keep going straight. The next right after that, you'll see their sign, Hilton Head National RV Resort. That's where you want to take a right. And you'll think maybe you're turning into a golf course because they do have a beautiful golf course out here, uh, but you're not. 
you take a right into there and then it splits off once you turn in golf course goes straight to go to the art and they've got it well marked there's a sign there it says take a right uh, towards the RV resort so just put Burt Church into your GPS so at least you get on that road so you don't go to Malfrus Road and have to worry about all the trees you think I explained it good enough <laughs> hopefully hopefully y'all got that <laughs> yeah so so other than that that was a little snafu to getting in here um, but once you get in here everybody was super nice um, at check-in they have the lanes for you for parking you know when you come in and then you go in and they tell you the whole spiel and um, and all the give you all the goodies and one thing that I liked is is that they gave us a card so it's kind of like when you're on a cruise ship uh, you have a card that is for everything. It's for the gates, uh, to get into their pool areas, as well as it becomes your credit card. So it's kind of nice. You can leave your wallet at home and just go about the park, uh, which is kind of cool. You just need to make sure you have that on. And we have bands as well that they give you when you're in the pool areas. Yes. Chris, Chris is a good girl. <laughs> Which she is good. Makes you, makes, <laughs> it makes you know that the people that are there are supposed to be there. Yes. Okay, so let's break down this park. Oh my gosh. So super friendly people right off the bat. We had David, shout out to David, um, who was our valet, who brought us back here to the Water's Edge area, which is where we're staying, which is a little bit different from the main park. This is a adults only, no kids section. 21 and older. 20, yeah, and they said they're very strict on the 21 and older in this area. Uh, it is a, a beautiful side of the park. There's 42 sites. There's pull throughs, pulls ahead, pull ahead, I should say, and, and back ends. We chose a back end site 250 here, which was nice. We had one that was what we wanted. Uh, it, it was, was a little nicer, nicer. <laughs> but thank you to Camping World, we had to delay our trip. So. Yeah, we should say it, the reason why it was it was nicer because it was down by the water. So, yeah. so we were a little ways away from the water, and we were on an end, so we only had somebody on one side of us. Yeah. So this, man, I mean, you, I honestly, you, there's not a bad spot in this section, really. No. Yeah. No, not they really. They do a really good job of offsetting them, so you're literally not like looking in your neighbor's camper, which is so nice. So yeah, so there there are over 300 sites in this park total, and they're all what 70 feet, 70 feet long by yeah. 20 feet wide. So if you can't back in or pull into this, you may need to turn in your RV license yeah. <laughs> if there was such a thing. Yeah. Uh, but but great sites and David did he he helped us back into the site and um, answered any questions that we had and he's continued to be a resource for us since we've been here and the most important thing that David did I think was he gave us dog treats and yes. Ryder was like this guy is amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is definitely a pet friendly. Uh, RV resort, which is which is really awesome. A uh, rider has thoroughly enjoyed himself here at the resort. So, okay, so we we told you a little bit about the sites uh, over here in the water's edge section. Let's cover our section first. So, there is a gate um, that that you have to have your pass to get into this area back here, and it has its own clubhouse, which is which is beautiful. Uh, when you walk into the clubhouse, the, I don't know, the, the, it just... Looks like a big giant living room. It is yes. absolutely gorgeous with tons of seating areas. TVs. TVs, there's a game room. Oh my gosh, and the showers in there are beautiful. Huge, Huge. bathrooms Huge with big giant open walk-in showers. So, you know, if you've got multiple people staying in your camper and you need some additional bathrooms, they're they're there for you and they do have their own bar section in that area as well bar meaning literally they don't want you to take any beverages into the pool area that aren't purchased on site so they literally have a bar that they keep open for um, all of the campers to purchase you know whatever type yeah. of beverages you would like and then on top of that they have a beautiful place to do laundry yeah. with, with amazing uh, washer and dryers in there and a, a digital unit 
the way you can get your detergent and whatever else your hearts desire uh, inside there. <laughs> we have our own washer and dryer, so sorry we didn't pay attention to how much it costs, but I, yeah. I do know there is a cost involved in doing your laundry in there. But it, but amazing. Yeah. It's super clean, by the way, too. The bathrooms were... Uh, like I said, it is a five-star five star resort. It's immaculate. Yeah. It is beautiful. And then when you... Uh, walk out to the pool area. There's a beautiful, almost kind of like a figure eight-ish uh, kind of pool that was just gorgeous and refreshing. And uh, we really liked swimming in the pool. And there's some private uh, cabanas mm -hmm. that you can rent that actually have a TV in them. I don't know why you'd want that. I don't know, maybe you want to watch TV and get hot. I don't know. Uh, but there are ceiling fans in those as well. Yeah. So it moves a little air, a little shade from the sun. But beautiful setting because it's right on the golf course. So when you stand up, you can look across the pond and um, and see the golf course. And then they also have a hot tub, mm -hmm. which which we also sat in, and it was just a just a beautiful area over there. And it's super close. Yeah, and tons of seating, tons of space. And you know, for an adult only, you don't you know you know that you're not going to have a bunch of screaming kids splashing all over. And now Chris wanted to do a couple <laughs> cannonballs, but I had to stop her. So. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the pool is not a diving pool. It's definitely more of a lap, you know, lap or yeah. dog paddle or just cool just, off. Yeah, but, just cool off. Uh, but it's it's beautiful. It's definitely just a nice place to go. So we, and we met lots of uh, cool people. Torben and his wife were behind us, and uh, we enjoyed meeting and and that's that's what's so fun yeah. about just coming to the RV parks because you get to meet fellow RVers, and we all talk about our highs and lows uh, of our RVing and give each other tips and tricks and. Yeah. Um, Which one of our neighbors actually, man lucky for them they drove into the campground and as they were waiting to get check-in one of their tires went flat yeah so i'm like well thankfully it happened here and not somewhere on the road yeah but that's they, they had to get that fixed you just never know do you and what was nice is they said the staff here was johnny on the spot and went and got a hydraulic jack and helped him jack up and get it all fixed and which is just right. amazing that's the way the staff are here uh, the staff, a lot of the staff themselves are RVers. Yep, they're all work Full -timers, campers. Full-timers, work campers, yeah. Yep. And super nice, super helpful. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. This section back here is just um, amazing, but you do pay $50 more to come back to this area. Just so Per you know. night. Yeah. Per night, $50 yep. more per night. Um, but like I said, you have your own pool access. It's quiet. There's no kids running around and... Um, and it's not super big and there's also let's let's talk about this real quick so there is an amazing trail system yeah that goes around this oh this whole resort they've done such a nice job and it's i mean it goes from being cement to gravel but it's they're all so nicely done some of them you know hook up to other trails some of them you have to cross through the camps campground to get to the connecting but you can walk over by the golf course and and there's some that go through the woods they're awesome yeah really really amazing and, and when we were, we were here over labor day weekend so we got to see it quiet of course we we went through the hurricane oh yeah that'll be another <laughs> video but uh, <laughs> yeah we were hurricane, hunkered down for I, hurricane. Adelia, Adelia yeah. came through here that was our first time ever having to hunker down for potentially 70 to 80 mile an hour winds uh that's another video i'll have to make <laughs> about that but uh everybody here at the campground was they they kept track uh on us um they communicate here via text message to all the rvers so it was really nice we could have went down to the clubhouse um if we needed to some rvers that were here with us not too many <laughs> but there were some that were crazy like us <laughs> to stay uh, they were down there kind of hunkered in for for a little bit till it got past a certain point where we knew we were all yeah, all good safe. to go but but they did a really good job of checking on us and just letting us know hey you guys can go down to clubhouse and shelter if you want to so okay so now let's let's move over there's amazing buddy sites we should we should say that too and they were all packed oh, um oh, during yeah. the weekend i mean i think the park was we had we had a few empty spots in our section but i would say most of the rest of the campground was pretty darn packed and those buddy sites they're awesome if you're coming with some fellow campers you know what a great way to camp together absolutely so so here's some here's one minus that we learned about coming here because a lot of you know we uh, we have a golf cart uh, because we have a toy hauler fifth wheel so all of you golf cart owners that that own one when you come here to this resort you cannot 
bring your golf cart. Um, they do not allow it. They told us a little story uh, that they said that they initially did allow people to bring their golf carts, but then some youngsters uh, went over to this immaculate golf course and did donuts and tore up the greens and ruined it for the rest of us. Ruined it for the rest of us. Unfortunately. <laughs> so now you have to, you can rent two seaters and four seaters. Yeah, we saw some six seaters as well. I don't know if those are transportation. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm not sure. But we think they're $50 a day. Fifty dollars a day to rent. To yeah. rent a golf cart. So you could still get a golf cart if, if you want to pay fifty dollars a day and they are a GPS tracked, meaning like if you start to go over towards the golf course, they will they yeah. will cut out. Also, when people would try to come over into this section, Water's Edge, their golf carts would cut out and you'd see them all go like, What just happened? <laughs> and they'd have to push back them up, push yeah. them back back away. So just something for you uh, to think about, but we brought our, our e-bikes here. Chris and I recently purchased some electric bikes. Um, they're made by Trek and we really like them. And, and they have been a blast. Let me tell you, you come here to this resort and to Hilton Head Island. Oh my gosh. It's a biker's yeah, paradise. Trails everywhere. Trails everywhere. Matter of fact, we were saying when we were over on the island that technically, I mean, you could park and just get bikes and you know, and go anywhere you want on the island. And it's beautiful. The trails yeah. are amazing, lots of shade. So you're not in the heat all the time. Um, yeah, which and, is super nice and tons of places to rent bikes if you don't have your own bikes or just don't have the ability to transport them with you when you come with your camper. Yeah, just so just for, for all you bikers and if you have bikes, make sure you bring, bring them here because yes. I, can't, I don't know how many times Chris and I would just jump on our bikes and we'd ride around the park, we'd ride around on the on the trails. I would do four or five miles right within the park and it was fun because you could mix it up and go in the woods. Um, if you want to go in the woods on, on the gravel trails or, or just go on the asphalt and you know see all the RVs and meet people. It was, uh, so definitely if you're a biker, bring your bikes. Bring your bikes. You are gonna, you're gonna love that here. Okay, so let's go to, the main clubhouse, which is amazing. And there's lots going on here at the at the main clubhouse. And uh, they have a, a store that you can go into that it's like, like your typical, I would say like RV, RV resort kind of store where they have some of your last second, last minute knickknacks maybe, or if you down then there. Then they even have really pretty jewelry too. So you've got, it's, I mean, it's a nice, it's not, it's a nice resort store. Yeah, it really is. And they got some swag. So if you want to pick up some Hilton, Hilton National RV Resort swag, they got some there for you to, to pick up. There is a, a workout area. So if you come a here nice and you're like, I, facility, I need yeah. to get my workout in, I need to get pumped, you know, uh, they got that for you as well. And, and then they have a, a really nice resort restaurant. Yeah. And you may think, well, an RV resort restaurant, but Billy Max here, is great food and they have their own chef yes chef there's not a bunch of teenagers back there uh, making your food it's actually a chef and uh, what did you think yeah i thought it was good the um the bang bang shrimp that that came recommended and that's one of the things that we had the first night and we're going to actually have it tonight our last night i highly recommend so we will have some shrimp. video clips <laughs> yeah but it's just it's a nice cool it's open um area i guess you'd say it's um screened in so it, it overlooks the pool but there's a bar in there and then restaurant seating on the inside and the outside too if you want to be outside by the pool which is super nice and then also so there's lots going on over there in that area so they they have a great pool area with fountains and a lazy, lazy river. river i mean a not, big lazy river yeah not yeah. just a little like loop-de-loop -loop. i mean it's a it's a decent size uh lazy river i know i was like i was looking at this bridge structure and i was thinking huh i wonder why they put that big giant bridge structure in the pool area and then i realized oh because the lazy river goes underneath the bridge <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's super nice over there and then just off of that is an amazing playground for the kids um, it's so awesome. It's on turf and it, it's, they have that springiness to it. I don't know what you call that, but it's not real grass, but it's turf. And, uh, so the kids get to run around on turf and it's, it's very cool area. And then if you are a sports person and you want to get your Michael Jordan on, there's a basketball goal 
and uh, you can practice your slam dunking if you want. It also converts to a third pickleball court, and uh, they also have two pickleball courts other than that one. And I don't know, Chris and I have never played uh, pickleball. We played burger ball, chips ball, but not <laughs> pickleball. <laughs> I don't know, but we hear it's the up and coming thing, and a lot of people are doing it. So it was, it's been so hot. Oh my gosh, like sitting here right now, I mean, I honestly feel like I just stepped out of the shower because the humidity is South so Carolina high. humidity. <laughs> so you're not seeing a ton of people out on the pickleball courts or the basketball court these days, but I'm sure during some of those cooler months, it would be an awesome thing to do. But yeah, that whole pool area there and their clubhouse area is top notch. Yeah, it's Again, the showers over there and the restrooms are are just amazing. Uh, and they're very well kept. They do a great job. Matter of fact, I've noticed a team of ladies in a car and they'll go to all the different clubhouses, constantly checking them and keeping them clean. So top notch, good job guys uh, on doing that. And so, you know what, as they say, we saved the best clubhouse for last <laughs> and this was Ryder's favorite yes. area there is a third little clubhouse that also has a great laundry area more showers more restrooms but the most important thing that they have there is they have dog baths there's four dog, dog baths. baths those really nice big stainless steel um, dog I don't know, sinks, baths. There's two for large dogs and two for small dogs. And then the dog park, oh my gosh, the dog park for the big dogs, it's the biggest dog park I've ever seen in a campground. Very, yeah, yeah. I would definitely agree. So, unfortunately, not a lot of people took their dogs this time around. I don't know, there was tons of dogs in the park, um, but the writer was like feeling a little little lonely most of the time he was in there but it's a great they got benches that you can sit on and that's the other thing too all over the park are stations with dog bags and little garbage cans like yeah. you cannot miss them so which is so nice and you know you don't see any mishaps <laughs> around the, the campground which is really nice because you don't have an excuse yeah and we should say this like over there they also have a small dog fenced in yes. area as well mm -hmm. so the little guys don't have to play with the big guys um, if they don't want to but uh, just another neat yeah. little oh, thing and here. there's a dog drinking fountain too in the, at least in the big dog park so yeah just it's a lot of really nice amenities especially for people that have animals yeah and they also have ice machines Oh yeah, that's uh, Everywhere true. too, so if you need to get some ice or for some reason your RV doesn't make ice, uh, you can also get ice. Um, I tell you what, what else? Firewood. So like most RV parks, they don't want you to bring in firewood. They want you to get it here. It was $11 a bundle. Honestly, we bought three bundles because we thought we would be doing s'mores, but it's been so hot <laughs> yeah. that we haven't wanted to do. We did one fire yeah. while we were here. And we sat a long way away from it. <laughs> and then we went and jumped in the pool. Yeah, so. <laughs> exactly. It's but, maybe not not quite. But it's nice person. because you, you you literally call them and then somebody brings it to your site, which is great. You don't have to even mess with it. So yeah, but just a well thought out, well you know laid out RV resort. So Chris, what are we giving Hilton Head National RV Resort? How many stars? five stars that's pretty big yeah. five stars in every aspect of it you know like i said the only downside that we had was the fact that we couldn't bring our golf course cart but this since this is such a bike friendly area it worked out just fine yeah it really did work out uh, work out fine and hey by the way i also want to give a quick shout out we also met another a fellow river stoner couple oh yeah uh while we were here and they were in our section um, and that is Don and Spiller. If you guys are watching this, it was so nice meeting you. We, we, I tell you what, it's just, it's, it's an extra treat when we get to meet fellow Riverstone people because it's not often that we see another Riverstoner that, that, that's out there. So that was an extra treat for us and we had great time meeting with them. And we found out that we actually got our RVs at the same RV dealership yep, in Knoxville, true. Tennessee. Yep, we sure did. Well guys, 
uh, you have if you don't have this place on your bucket list you need to put it on your bucket list matter of fact we loved it so much here that we have all reserved time here for for next year we definitely plan on coming back because we just loved it here we loved our time here so put this on your calendar put it on your bucket list whatever you got to do uh call make your reservation these guys have been awesome and guess what guys they did not pay us uh, to make this video. We're, we're getting nothing from this video other than a uh, out of boy, out of boy. <laughs> Thanks for coming and staying. All the staff has been super friendly. Uh, you can't go wrong. I'm telling you, you you're going to love and enjoy this RV resort. Chris gave it five stars. I give it five stars. Thanks for tuning in and watching everybody. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you to all those who are watching and supporting us and following along with us. And with that, we say God bless. God bless and safe, safe travels. travels.